Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia, and the video you're going to see, or the layouts you're going to see, are 27 different layouts I did. I did a, wrote an article that actually had 16 layouts of half square triangles, and then I wrote another one. I'm, or, excuse me, I'm, I wrote another one uh, showing 11 more half square triangle layouts. I just love this little easy versatile block, and when I was writing the first article, I went ahead and uh, made a quilt, and this is my the result. I really like the chevron pattern. And I used the gray and the pink as my two colors for the half square triangles. And it just was a lot of fun. It's an easy quilt to make. Half square triangles, I mean, you can use those in so many different ways. In a block, not in a block like this. This is just plain and simple uh, half square triangles. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy all the different layouts. And if you don't know how to make a half square triangle at the end of the video, there is a just a brief tutorial on how to make them. They really are easy and it's a great skill to learn if, if you're new to quilting and want to add in some triangles to your work. So thanks so much. I hope you enjoy all the layouts and have a great day.
Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia, and if you're watching this video, you've probably seen the rest of the layouts of my half square triangles. Um, they were the blue and yellow ones, and I laid out about 27 different layouts for them. They're, this is actually one of my favorite units for quilting. I think they're so versatile, you can use them in other blocks, you can use them on your own, as I demonstrated, but I'm going to show you just the quick way to make a half square triangle if you don't know how to make one already. So let's get started. couple of specs on this uh, this particular one. Now you can make a half square triangle at any size you want. I think my rule of thumb is, well I'll tell you that in a second. This one measures three and a half inches square and that's what we'll be working with today. But again you can make them in any size. So you're going to start with two pieces of fabric and they are both cut four inches square. For Now you want to have it at least half an inch, you want your squares to be at least half an inch larger than your finished half square triangle. That's going to give you lots of room to trim it down. And I'll sh you'll see that in a few seconds. So anyway, you're going to have your two four inch squares. You're going to place them right sides together. Like so. Just make sure they're both even. Very easy. And you can see on the lighter one, this yellow, I drew a diagonal line just with pencil. You can use a marking tool. Hopefully you can see that from one corner to the other, diagonal line. That's going to be my sewing guide. And uh, that that's going to be easy to follow. And you make it darker, you can see it really well under your machine. So you're going to take it over to your machine, and you're going to sew down both sides of that line using a quarter inch seam allowance. And I've already done that. Here it is. Hopefully you can see it. I used white thread. But there's my drawn line, and there's the two seams down each side. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, and again, I've already done that for you, is you're going to take your rotary cutter and a ruler and cut right down that line you drew. Don't cut down through the sewn lines, cut down through the line that you drew, and you're going to get two halves, like so. So, now you have your two half square triangles, and this is where that extra inch, uh, the extra measurement comes in. You're going to take them over to your pressing or your ironing board and press them open like so, and I've already done that too. And here they are. This is what they end up looking like. Now, in a perfect world, they'd be the size that you need, but they're not um, because you, gave, you made a little extra. These are really hard to sort of get exact when you're, when you're doing this method. That's why you get that extra, the extra, the extra measurement in there. So, but what you have to do now is just trim these down to size, to the size you want. And we wanted three and a half inches. So I'm going to take my ruler and my rotary cutter. And this ruler has a nice diagonal line already drawn on it, and that's a nice guide for me. And you're going to line that diagonal line on the ruler onto your diagonal line from your half square triangle. And using your rotary cutter, I'm so excited I got a new rotary cutter, it's nice and smooth. You're going to trim off whoops, those edges, watch your fingers, then you're going to flip it around, and you're going to line up that diagonal line again, and then you're going to come down your three and a half inches, point right here, and you're going to trim off. other side and there you have your three and a half inch half square triangle ready to go into whatever you're doing your block or you're just laying them out like so and that's it they're very easy to make they're lots of fun and they really are I mean you could see from all the layouts I did if you've watched them um, how versatile this block is or this this block unit is so thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it have a great day